So far in this module, we've used a combination of public and module level variables whenever we've needed to share information between multiple procedures. As you start to work on larger, more complex projects, you may find that it becomes quite difficult to manage a long list of public and module level variables. In this lesson, we're going to start talking about an alternative way to share information between procedures by declaring and passing values to parameters. Let's start by opening up the file that I've downloaded and extracted. And then when the file's opened, we can click the Enable Content button. And this is another version of a file that we've seen in previous modules in this course. The idea is that you can write a simple review of a movie by providing a score out of 10, the title of the movie and the date you've watched it, and then clicking the Add to List button should transfer this movie into the appropriate worksheet according to its score. If we head to the Developer tab and then open up the Visual Basic Editor, we can see the code that we've written to make this work. We have three simple variables, one that captures the movie title, one for the date that it was watched, and one for the movie score. We have some simple validation to check that the user's entered a valid date and a valid number. And then we capture the values in the appropriate variables, write an if statement to determine which worksheet the film should belong to, and then finally, write those details out into the appropriate place. What we'd like to do is extract this piece of logic, the if statement, into a separate procedure. And the challenge in doing that is that this procedure would need to know the value of the movie score variable, and we're going to attempt to do that without using any type of public or module level variable. Let's start modifying this code then by creating a new subroutine called GoToSheet. We can create this subroutine either in the same module or in a completely separate one, it really doesn't matter. We can call subroutines from any module in the project. Just for convenience, I'm going to create my new subroutine at the end of the existing one. So I'm going to call this one GoToSheet. I'm then going to cut and paste the code from the main subroutine into this go to sheet subroutine. So I'm going to find the if statement and cut the entire thing and then paste it into the go to sheet procedure. The problem we have now, of course, is that the go to sheet procedure needs to know what the value of the movie score is. As this variable is declared within the add to list procedure, the go to sheet procedure has no access to it. We can solve that problem by declaring a parameter in the definition of the go to sheet procedure. A parameter allows us to pass a value into the GoToSheet procedure whenever we call it. Declaring a parameter is a lot like declaring a variable, but with a couple of major differences. First of all, we don't use the dim, private or public keywords when declaring a parameter. We simply start by declaring the parameter's name. Secondly, you don't declare a parameter within the code within a subroutine. You declare the parameter in the parentheses after the subroutine's name. I'd like to create a first parameter which accepts an integer value, a simple number representing the movie score that I would like to test. So I'm going to call my first parameter score to test. And then just like a, a variable, you can state what type the variable should be or the parameter should be. So I'm going to say that this one is an integer by saying score to test as integer. Now I'm just going to update the code within this subroutine. Wherever I've previously referenced my variable movie score, I want to replace that by referencing the score to test parameter. So I've only got to do that a couple of times. I can simply copy and paste the score to test keyword and replace the movie score keyword in the two places I referenced it. Now that we've created the GoToSheet procedure, we need to call it from within the original procedure where we cut our if statement from earlier on. So this comment here, go to the correct worksheet based on the score. I'm gonna press Control and Space and then look for my GoToSheet procedure in the list. And following that, I'm going to type in a space. And what we should see is that any parameters we've defined in the procedure's definition should be shown in the tooltip that appears, score to test as integer. So that's telling us that in order to make this procedure work, we must pass in a, an integer value to the parameter called score to test. We've captured the value we're going to pass into this sheet, into this subroutine in the movie score variable. So I'm going to say that I want to pass the value of the movie score variable into the score to test parameter. You may remember from an earlier module in the course that you can optionally use the keyword call when you're calling one subroutine from another. 
There is one small problem if you're going to use the call keyword when you're passing values to parameters. If I enter the word call before my call to go to sheet and then move the cursor to a new line, we'll see the compiler indicates that there's a syntax error. The solution to this is to make sure that you enclose the parameter list or enclose the argument list in a set of parentheses. So if you use the optional call keyword, to make the syntax valid, you must enclose any values to pass to parameters in a set of round brackets. Uh, my personal preference is not to use the call keyword, um, not just because of that, but it's a slightly old fashioned technique. But uh, if you do intend to use call, just bear that simple little difference in mind. At this point, we should just quickly test that the code works by returning to Excel. And then with the details that we already have typed in, click the add to list button to make sure that the details we've entered go into the correct worksheet. It's also worthwhile testing the code by stepping through it. So let's head back to sheet one and then maybe enter some different details just to have a different set of information. Uh, we can change the movie title. Let's go with, uh, I don't know, let's go with Twilight. Uh, oh, that means that I've got to pretend that I've actually watched it. Uh, let's just enter some, let's just enter today's date. I can do that by pressing control and semicolon on the keyboard just to write today's date into the cell. Um, and I'll pretend, <laughs> I don't need to pretend actually, I can give it a score of zero. There we go. So I'm just going to head back to the Visual Basic Editor and then let's rearrange the screen so that we can see both the Excel window and the VB Editor window in the same screen. And then it's important to note that I can't just test the go to sheet procedure by itself. If I were to click into the go to sheet procedure and press F8, nothing will happen. I can't run this one unless I pass a value into it. So I need to be able to call that procedure and pass a value into its parameter. So let's head up to the add to list procedure and then press the F8 key to begin stepping through this one. So we'll go through the simple validation checks. We have entered a valid date and a valid number and then we'll capture the values in the appropriate variables. So movie title, date watched and movie score. These will all just simply capture the values we've typed into those cells. So the movie score variable currently contains a value of zero. And you can see that that's true when I position the mouse cursor over it. At this point, then, when I press F8, we're going to call the go to sheet procedure and pass that value into the score to test parameter. So it's the same value now referenced with a different name in my second procedure. I'll just scroll down so we can see the thing. Let's continue pressing F8. Well, zero is definitely less than or equal to four. So that must mean we need to go to the rubbish worksheet. So we should see that in the Excel window, we now move on to the rubbish sheet. When this second procedure ends, it will return to the next instruction in the procedure which called it. So if I press F8, it will return to this statement and then continue running the rest of the instructions, transferring the values into the appropriate place in the worksheet. If I press F8 to end the subroutine, that's the entire process. So there's your first introduction to declaring and using parameters. They do require a little more effort and thought than simple module level and public variables, but they do have a few advantages as well. So a parameter makes a value available to only those procedures which require it, rather than to all of the procedures in a module or a project, which would be the case with public and module level variables. Parameters also make it slightly easier to transfer a procedure into a different project or a different module. You don't have to check whether you've copied all of the required module level and public level variables along with it. Parameters also help to avoid cluttering up the IntelliSense list with lots and lots of module level and project level variable names. So although they're a bit more effort to work with, they're definitely worth it in the long run, particularly as you start working in more complex and larger projects. At this point, you can either continue with the extra practice session at the end of this part of the lesson, just to gain some more experience with declaring parameters in procedures. Alternatively, you can move on to the next part of this lesson, which explains how to use multiple parameters in the same procedure.